Today I'm making uh, stuffed bell peppers and uh, part of the stuffing for the bell peppers I'm going to be using venison. So this year I shot a really nice 10 point and uh, not only was he really nice looking deer but the reason why we hunt is so we can eat and we like to we like to go fishing as well and we like to eat the fish that we catch so um, as far as ingredients go let me let me go down the list real quick so I'm using uh, two pounds of ground venison this white tail buck that I shot um, you can use ground beef for this recipe you can use uh, anything you get in your grocery store things like buffalo or whatnot work really good just so happens that we're going to be using ground beef with my processor we probably have got about 10% uh, beef fat added in with this um, and it's very rare that anyone can tell the difference between this and beef so everyone's real happy with using the ground venison uh, another thing that is included in the stuffing is rice uh, a lot of times what I'll do early in the week is I will make a dish that includes rice and I'll make a lot of extra rice because you want your rice to be pre-cooked so this was cooked uh, for yesterday's dinner uh, I'm probably going to use about three cups of pre-cooked rice um, one small onion my wife is not a big fan of onions and I think she picked out a uh, small uh, sweet onion, sweet onion, white onion, whatever you like. One small onion works. Um, bell peppers. So my wife claims that she can tell the difference in the taste between a green bell pepper and the other colors. And she does not like the green bell peppers. Um, Personally, I don't notice the difference. I don't really pay attention that much. But for this particular dish, I really like to use uh, either yellow or red or orange bell peppers just because of the way they look. They look really good with this dish. Uh, today I have two reds and two oranges. And um, let me help you out with one, one fact when picking out your bell peppers. Make sure that they're uh, big around right because we're going to be stuffing them we don't want it to be too skinny where we can't get stuff inside of them also make sure that they're relatively flat on the bottom so they will stand up in the in the pan uh, baking dish as they go into the oven so they can bake um, for the baking dish I'm using about a 9 by 9 inch glass baking dish some sort of casserole dish or something like that would be fine um, not not a cookie sheet because this is we're going to make quite a bit of the stuffing so not only is it going to fill the inside of the bell peppers but it's also going to fill the casserole dish or the baking dish as well so we have something with with taller sides so it will accommodate that uh, a few other ingredients i have a small can i think it's an eight ounce, eight ounce can of tomato sauce i have a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes diced fire roasted diced tomatoes a um, little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then some spices to go along with it so always salt and pepper uh, and from here on you can absolutely be creative I like to add a little bit of chili powder and we buy in bulk garlic powder, so I'm probably going to add a little bit of that as well. And uh, also some garlic. Now I've got this uh, minced garlic that's uh, in a squeezy bottle. Um, I use this stuff almost every single day, so we're going to add a little bit of garlic into the dish as well. So step number one <clears throat> is going to be to clean up, your, clean up your veggies and do a little chopping. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop the onion relatively small pieces and then on the bell peppers I'm just going to slice off the very top of the bell pepper, clean those out, get the seeds and as much of the veins out, open that up as much as we can. And then the tops that get chopped, that get chopped off, I will actually chop those up 
and uh, put those in with the onions. So let me go ahead and get started and then uh, we'll regroup here in a minute as soon as I have uh, some of the stuff chopped up and ready to start the cooking process. I have the bell peppers uh, tops chopped off. They're seeded, veins cut out from the inside, and I've placed them into the casserole dish. So we're going to set those off to the side. I've also chopped up the tops of the bell peppers and the onion. I'd like to do a pretty fine chop with this stuff. Keep in mind we're stuffing them into peppers so we don't want really large chunks. So fairly finely chopped uh, tops of the bell peppers and the onion. Next step I'm going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to be using a fairly high sided pan to do this. We've got uh, quite a bit of stuff that needs to go in here so we want to make sure we have a fairly high sided pan. Uh, I'm going to start out with, like I said, extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to throw my chopped up bell pepper and my chopped up onions into this. Go, go ahead and cook this a little bit, soften everything up, and then at that point I'll add a little bit of garlic. And once we're at that point, it's time, time to add the ground and uh, cook the ground. So let's get started on the next step. All right, onions and bell peppers um, in the pan. Got it on medium high heat with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we're probably going to go four or five minutes or so, and then we'll add some garlic to that. Peppers and onions have been cooking. I've added a little garlic to that. We're going to cook that up for another minute or two. And then the next step is to add the ground venison. Okay, we're browning the meat, and this is the time that you want to be adding your seasonings. You don't want to wait till after the meat's cooked to put the seasoning on it. So I'm doing some salt and pepper, a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of garlic powder. Obviously you can do what you like, be creative here. There's plenty of, plenty of options. About the time that the ground beef is cooked, that's when we're going to go ahead and add about three cups of the pre-cooked rice. We're going to add the can of fire roasted tomatoes and we're going to put in half of the tomato sauce. And at this point you also want to preheat your oven, set your oven at 450 degrees. The next step is to stuff the, pep the peppers and fill up the casserole dish. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the peppers out a little bit, scoop about a half to three quarter of an inch of the stuffing into the pan or into the uh, casserole dish. Peppers back on top and then stuff each one individually. My peppers are in the casserole dish. The dish is almost completely full with all of the stuffing. Of course, the peppers are stuffed. The last step, I almost forgot, is add cheese on top. I put the tomato sauce on top of the peppers after everything was stuffed. I happen to find some Pecorino Romano cheese that I'm gonna throw on top. Another option for you. Um, whatever your favorite cheese is, grated cheese. Cheddar cheese, grated Swiss cheese, Mexican cheese, whatever. Throw it on top. Uh, like I said, Pecorino Romano for me. So I'm going to throw that on top. And into the oven it goes. I'm probably going to give it about 15 minutes or so for everything to finish up. We want to soften the peppers just a little bit. Let everything melt and make sure everything is up to temperature. And then it will be time to eat. We have about uh, 10 or 15 minutes in the oven and uh, three pounds of ground, in our case whitetail venison, it could be elk, it could be bison, it could be axis deer, whatever the best ground you could find, plus two cups, no, two pounds of, two pounds of ground venison, three full cups of cooked rice, plus the whole can of diced tomatoes. Now, question is how many people does this feed? 
The answer is, if you're feeding the guys at deer camp, it's four. If you're feeding normal people, it's going to be eight. To serve this dish, go ahead and uh, take each one of the peppers and cut it in half. You're going to divide that across two plates. And uh, like I said, go ahead and add a salad so you have a complete meal. Um, once you have the two peppers divided, go ahead and grab your scooper. Give yourself a nice, healthy scoop out of uh, all that uh, good stuff in the casserole dish. Once you have that, you're pretty much ready to go. So there it is, uh, stuffed bell peppers today uh, done with uh, ground venison. So thanks for watching.